Best Catchers Back in 2023. Here are the top six best catchers bag reviews. 1. Bonnet Commander Softball and Baseball Catchers Bag. I know this may sound like a marketing cliche, but I'm still going to go out and say it if you want to command the field as a good catcher should. The Bonnet Commander Catchers Bag eyes the train you want to jump on. Again, it may seem like I'm pushing it with the salesy talk, but hear me out for a second. The Bonnet Catchers Bag has a lot of really good stuff going. And if you're a serious catcher who doesn't have the luxury of dilly-dallying, this is your bag. It has tons of space. So you'll never run out of real estate as a catcher even when you keep jamming different stuff inside. If you look at the dimensions, it's got 38 height by 17 width by 12D. If you compare it to the dimensions, 36 height by 12 width by 12D. Of another premium, slightly expensive bag like the No Airs Noe 2, you'll see that it's still spacious. I've carried all my gear chest protector, helmets, catcher's mitts, bats, cleats, knee guards, masks, you name it. I had it stored in the bag. In fact, I even carry my jacket and sweatshirts to my practice sessions because I didn't want to mess my uniform up. So, you never have to worry about running out of space, that's for sure. That's not the only upside of this bag. There are fence hooks to hang the bag from a fence and use it as a portable locker. You can simply hang the bag up by the fence, open all the compartments, take what you need, and let it hang there in case you need to switch things up. Plus, it's a wheeled bag with a pull handle. It doesn't make a difference for me in my time. I didn't mind carrying all the weight because I considered it good upper body exercise. Still, a full day of training can get pretty exhausting, and you might not be in the mood to carry a shitload. That's when the big tracks wheels of this bag come in handy. The cleat compartment has a sturdy case. It's excellent because cleats when they're in the trunk can collide against the bag's softer material and ruin it. Both your cleats and your bag will suffer. But that won't happen with the Bonnet Commander. It's not just fence hooks. You've also got another set of hooks you can use to hang your gloves slash mitts. Even other premium bags like the Noe 2 have this feature. However, what sets the Bonnet Commander apart is the Velcro batting glove patch. Instead of handing the batting glove, you can use Velcro to keep it glued to the bag. Let's not forget the customizable patch. This feature alone is what hooked me onto this catcher's bag. I just ripped the center patch off and attached my favorite team's logo without spending a chunk of cash that's a big win. Overall, the Bonnet Commander is indeed in a commanding position when it comes to catcher's bags. Even top tire bags like Noe 2 struggle to keep up with the Bonnet. The one downside is the relatively weak handle. If you're not really careful with it, it can either get stuck or break out right. Still, the Bonnet Commander is one of my favorites. Again, I'm really sorry for the salesy talk here, but it's really good. It's got a ton of quality of life features, massive storage space, heavy duty wheels, and a stylish look. I use the USA themed one, it costs $10 extra than the other seven variants. From where I sit, the Bonnet Commander zooms past the competition to become the best wheeled catcher's bag. Customizable, yes, and decent color options. Pros of Bonnet Commander softball and baseball catcher's bag can carry all the equipment you need as a catcher. Premium bag will last for years if you use it somewhat carefully can be turned into a portable locker in the field, can be personalized with your favorite team's badge. Cons of Bonnet Commander softball and baseball catcher's bag. Expensive compared to other bags. The pull handle needs really gentle treatment. Two, Boomba Catcher Super Pack Hybrid Rolling Bat Bag. I completely understand if Bonnet Commander is a bit too expensive for your palate. Even I wouldn't invest in the Commander if it was for casual play or my kids who are just taking baby steps to learn the game. So. What's the next best thing that doesn't cost a boatload of moolah? Answer, the Boomba Catcher Super Pack Hybrid Bag. I got this bag for one of my kids who is a 10 travel ball player, and it's been almost a season. My thoughts are that it's an excellent catcher's bag for youth. The Boomba Super Pack is cheaper than the other high-end premium bags. Still, the overall performance can even give the big boy bags a run for their money. As the name suggests, it's a hybrid bag. So, you can carry it using the shoulder straps or just drag it using the wheels. Plus, the straps can be unhooked from the bag and tucked inside the bag. You get the best of both worlds. For starters, it holds four bats. Even the Bonnet Commander a premium catcher's bag maxes out at three. So, Super Pack takes the lead here, despite being a budget bag. However, there's a reason why the Commander stays on top, and this bag is a runner up. You see, with Boomba Super Pack, you have to store your bats on the sides. Two on each side. The problem here is that your bats remain susceptible to rain, heat, or any other form of extreme weather. In contrast, the commander keeps your bats safe from inclement weather. 
the bag itself will take the bullet before it lets anything happen to your bats. So, while the Boom Boss Super Pet carries an extra bat, it does make all the bats susceptible to foul weather. And it's smaller than the Commander as well. The Super Pack's dimensions are 23.5 lengths by 13.5 width by 9.5 height. And if I use the same metrics for Commander, the numbers would be 17 lengths by 12 width by 38 height. Still, the Super Pack has more than enough room for all the catcher's gear. You can use the two fence hooks to hang it against the fence. So, similar to the Bowneck Commander, you do get a portable locker with this bag as well. You can keep it hanging during your game or training sessions and come back to it if you need anything. However, the overall design is more like a traditional bag and less like a locker. What I mean is it doesn't divide in the middle. So, the design doesn't complement the fence hooks. The shoe slash cleat space is separated from the main compartment. That's a big plus. Usually, your baseball slash softball shoes can get stinky. So, if the divider isn't there, you know what happens next. The exterior has accessory sleeves to carry water bottles or any other small stuff you have. The Boom Boss Super Pack is really a solid bang for the buck. You get a shoulder plus wheel bag combo for less than $200. And there's more than enough room for all the catcher's equipment. But it's mostly suitable for young players or high schoolers. A lot of adults use it as well, but you may have to leave some of your gear at home if all your stuff is plus size. I believe the Boom Boss Super Pack deserves the crown of being the best youth catcher's bag. It's convenient. You can use the straps or the wheels. It has tons of room for equipment, and it'll last for a long time. So, it's a great bag for the price. Customizable, a yes, and tons of color options. Pros of Boomba Catcher Super Pack Hybrid Rolling Bat Bag. Hybrid bag gives you the best of both worlds shoulder carry and wield option. Carries four bats more than the Bone Neck Commander. Comparatively cheaper than other high-end bags. Highly customizable bag with a lot of color combinations to choose from. Cons of Boomba Catcher Super Pack Hybrid Rolling Bat Bag. Full-sized adult catcher's equipment may not fit, depends on the sizing. Straps should have been stronger. 3. No errors, no E2 wheel catcher's gear bag. After taking a quick detour to the budget world, I'm back to talking about more high-end catcher's bags. Alright, I'm kidding. I do have plenty of other budget-friendly alternatives on this list. But the one I have here is the most expensive catcher's bag in this article, even a bit higher than the Bonnet Commander. So. Here comes a worthy challenger of the commander the No Errors Noe 2. Okay, I say worthy challenger because it's unfair to compare the Bone Neck Commander to the Boom Boss Super Pack because there's a $100 difference. But between the Bone Neck and the Noe 2, there's a $10 $20 gap. So, the comparison is fair. Let's start with back size. The Bone Neck Commander is bigger, as I said earlier. It's 38 height by 17 width by 12D for Bone Neck Commander compared to the 36 height by 12 width by 12D of the Noe 2. However, as you can see, the difference isn't that big. So, it comes down to the bag's design, not the capacity slash size, because both bags have enough real estate to accommodate all the equipment a catcher is likely to have. The Noe 2 has seven compartments. Pay careful attention here because, according to manufacturer notes, it has nine pockets, but I'm talking about compartments. Let me explain. The main compartment is divided into three parts, the top, center, and bottom. Usually. I place my catcher's helmet on top, protector slash mitts in the middle, and batting helmet slash gloves on the bottom. Apart from the center, there are three spacious exterior compartments, two on one side and one on the other. Each compartment was designed for a specific purpose. The larger isolated compartment is for the shin guards. Shin guards can get dirty real quick, so you can put them in a solo compartment to keep the dirt away from your other gears. The other two compartments are next to each other. The one that's got vent holes is suitable for any wet stuff you might have like a sweaty t-shirt or batting gloves. The vents will help disperse the smell. The other compartment is also vented, but you'll see a sturdier construction because it's meant for cleats. So, whether you have spike cleats or flats, you'll be able to store them here. So, as you can see, the Noe 2 has a ton of compartments to store all your Stellar Catcher's gear. It's higher compared to Bonnet Commander's 5 compartments. However, the Commander has more pockets 14 compared to Noe 2's 9 pockets. Similar to the Commander, you can hang the Noe 2 using fence hooks. Besides, there are 4 extra hooks inside the bag. If you place them properly, you can get quick access to your helmets, cleats, mitts, and gloves. The big standout feature of the Noe 2 is the semi-collapsible nature of the bag. If you're wondering where the bats go in this bag, it goes on the back. There's a zipper you can use to separate the main part of the bag from the bat case. It's called a suitcase pouch. 
So, this one pouch gives you room to carry clothes alongside your bats. I wouldn't recommend it unless your bats are squeaky clean, you know. The Noe 2 is a premium catcher's bag by all means. It's got a ton of goodies. And every catcher who carries a buttload of equipment would love to get their hands on this bag. But there are a few setbacks. For instance, no pull handles on a wheeled bag make it difficult for you to use. You do have a strap so it's somewhat hybrid, unlike the Bonnet Commander that's wheel only. And the bag can become super fat once you put all the gear in. It can get so fat and wide that you might have a tough time moving with it or even putting it in the trunk. Anyways, it's a great bag with a few technical slash design faults that a lot of people including me can work with. However, if it's your first bag and you're not sure how to work around the problems of the Noe 2, I would recommend going for the Bonnet Commander instead. Customizable, yes, and decent color options. Pros of No Errors Noe 2 Wheeled Catcher's Gear Bag. More than enough room to keep and organize all catcher's gear, seven compartments. Vented pockets keep the bag clean. Can turn into a mobile locker with fence hooks. Fat wheels and bumpers prevent the bag from dragging in the ground. Cons of No Errors Noe 2 Wheeled Catcher's Gear Bag. The design can make the weight distribution uneven. No pole handle equal difficulty in moving. 4. Wilson Team Gear Bag Halfway through this best catcher's bags list, and I've only talked about $100 plus bags. Does it mean there aren't any good catcher's bags under $100? Short answer there is, but you might miss out on some really lucrative features. However, the basic qualities we all look for as a catcher space, durability, carrying convenience will be there. So, the Wilson Team Gear Bag is my tribute to all the budget hunters reading this article, I see you. It's a sub $100 bag that'll take care of all the basic slash semi-advanced needs you have as a catcher. The first thing you need to know is it's not a wheel bag. It's more like a duffel bag. So, you save big bucks by not investing in a high-end model. But you lose the comfort of using wheels instead of carrying the bag plus equipment's weight. Anyways, it's got a really spacious main compartment. In fact, of all the catcher's bags I've discussed up until now, the Wilson Team Gear bag is the biggest. It's 40 lengths by 14.5 width by 13 height is bigger than even the Bonnet's 38 height by 17 width by 12D. So, this bag is huge. There are three primary compartments in this bag. The central compartment is for all your gear's protectors, shin guards, gloves, mitts, bats, etc. The other two compartments can also accommodate gloves, but they're mostly used for helmets, wet training gears, slash attires, because these side compartments have vent holes. The central compartment is where all the magic happens. You can store everything you need for the game here. I tried taking two bats with me, and it worked no issues whatsoever. However, the larger-than-life main compartment isn't all sunshine. You see the compartmentalization game of this bag is not on point as you've seen with the Commander, Super Pack, or Noe 2. The main compartment is huge. So, you'd have to stuff all your gears here together. That's okay if you're a kid or a teenage travel ball player. But you don't want your gloves and spike cleats in the same room now, do you? You see where I'm going with this. Anyways, there's a removable customization panel like the Bonnet. But the Bonnet is more of plug and play customization, whereas the Wilson Dean gear needs a bit more embroidery effort from the user's end. Still, it's a great bag for the price. I don't think you'll find a bag of this size, comfort, and durability for such a low price point, and that too from a reputed brand like Wilson. However, there's one issue that I and a lot of other people who want this bag can't look past. It doesn't have a shoulder strap. You have to carry it like a suitcase. There's no way of adding a shoulder strap as well. The only workaround I can suggest is to try and use the straps or side handles to somehow carry it on your shoulder. It's not ideal, but it can work. Apart from this problem, the Wilson Dean bag is one sweet and solid catcher's duffel bag. Customizable, yes, and limited color options. Pros of Wilson Team Gear bag. Affordable bag way cheaper than high-end even mid-tire catcher's bags. It's huge. Even bigger than the Bonnet Commander. Sturdy bag will last for a long time. Vented pockets are helpful in storing wet attire slash gears. Cons of Wilson Team Gear Bag. No shoulder straps in a duffel bag. Compartmentalization is pole. 5. Rawlings Covered Player Duffel Bag. The Wilson Team Gear is an excellent catcher's duffel bag. However, I know people who aren't big fans of Wilson in general. Whenever Wilson's name comes up in the baseball circle, the name of Rawlings is never far behind. And that's exactly what I did here. If you're not comfortable with Wilson or a long-term fan of Rawlings equipment, I think you should look into the Rawlings Covered Player Duffel Bag. Now, let me tell you this. Right off the gate, that Wilson Gear Bag is a tad bit more expensive than the Rawlings Covered. If you look at the black color variant of both bags, 
you'll realize that the former is costlier only by a short margin. So, people who aren't pinching pennies really hard don't really need to worry about it. Also, the Rollins cover doesn't have any special tricks on its sleeve. There aren't any fancy J hooks, fence hooks, wheels, multi tire compartments in short, nothing flashy. It's a big ass duffel bag with a massive main slash central compartment. So, you'd have to jam most of your stuff inside the main compartment. The dimension of this bag is 27 length by 13 width x 13 height. In contrast, the Wilson Dean Gear has 41 length and 14.5 width. The width is only 1.5 inches different, so it doesn't really matter. But the length difference is noticeable. Still, it's got enough room for bats, protectors, gloves, mitts, shin guards, cleats, balls, and more. And compared to the Wilson bag, Rawlings cover does have the edge when it comes to convenient storage. The newer model has got two bat holes, so you don't have to keep your bats on the very bottom of the main compartment. Instead, you can use the bat holes to keep them on top. There's an accessory pouch on the side, but it's nothing to write home about. You can keep your shades or other small stuff like keys in here. The separate cleat compartment makes it easier for you to keep your shoes. However, the cleat room isn't as spacious as you'd want it to be. So, you might struggle to jam your baseball shoes into it. You get four different color options to choose from. And there's a customization panel. You can write your name on the card or remove the panel to add your team's logo. I did that with my bag, and it looks sweet. Rawlings cover loses to Wilson Team Bag when it comes to size and space. But the biggest game changer for Rawlings cover is the straps. Wilson Team Bag is really big and can fit tons of equipment. However, the straps are too close to the bag making it difficult to carry on your shoulder. In contrast, the straps on Rawlings cover are longer. So, shoulder carrying is on the menu. Again, there's no clear winner between the two duffel bags. So, it mostly comes to preference and needs. If you want more room, Wilson Team Bag should be the way to go. If you want carrying convenience with a decent room, go for the Rawlings covered duffel bag. Simple. Note. I would like to give a shout out to the Easton 100G as well because the Rawlings cover puts an end to all the duffel bag talk. Easton 100G is cheaper than both Wilson Team Bag and Rawlings cover. It's bigger than Rawlings but smaller than Wilson. Customizable, yes, and limited color options. Pros of Rawlings cover player duffel bag. Affordable duffel bag won't cost you a fortune. Strong and durable should last for a long time even if you treat it roughly. Bat holes make it easier to carry bats, don't have to jam bats together with other sensitive equipment. Longer straps can be carried on the shoulders. Cons of Rawlings covered player duffel bag. Lack of compartments makes it difficult to organize equipment. No pads on the straps, the straps will hurt once the bag becomes loaded with gear. 6. Tonell 360 RAG, baseball slash softball wheel bag, honorary mention. I've already shared my first hand experience with wheeled and duffel bags. And there's a bag on this list for everyone budget hunters, mid-tire spenders, and big buck shooters alike. However, I couldn't stop myself from talking about one more mid-tire wheel bag, the Anel 360 RAG. Although this bag has a ton of good features, what truly compelled me to list the Anel 360 RAG is the stylish outlook. If you take a quick look at this bag, you instantly realize why I'm saying it. When you put this bag next to the Bonnet Commander or the Noe 2, there's no beating the Tonell 360 in terms of looks. Plus, this bag is cheaper compared to the Bonnet Commander and Noe 2 almost by a $100 margin. However, it's still not in the same league as this two high-end catcher's bags. There are some design errors that create comfort slash balance issues, but I'll talk about that in a moment after I tell you what it offers. So, the Tonell 360 has fence hooks just like the premium Bonnet Commander, Noe 2, and the mid-tire Boomba Super Pack. However, these fence hooks look a bit sturdier than the Super Pack because they are attached to a strap not directly to the bag itself. There are two compartments on each side, just like the Noe 2. If you put it down laterally, you'll see a large compartment that says cleat cage. You can already guess what the compartment is meant for. And next to the large cleat cage is a smaller compartment where you can store batting gloves, glasses, seeds, or wrist slash elbow bands. The two pouches on the other side are pretty much the same one big and the other small. There's a small compartment in front right above the pull handle. It's surprisingly big. I could store many game balls, glasses, and even my body spray when in there. Unlike the Noe 2, the Tonell 360 has two compartments in the center. You can use one to hold your protector, helmet, and your top tire catcher's mitts. The other can also be used for gloves, sweatshirts, batting helmets, etc. 
the bigger compartment is designed to hold the chest protector, keep that in mind. Also, you can carry it any way you like. When it comes to carrying convenience, the Enel 360 has got it all. You can either use the wheels and pull handle to drag, the carry-on strap, or the shoulder straps. So, you have plenty of options to carry it in any way you like. However, now comes the design error I've talked about. You have to balance the weight of the different compartments out to make sure your bag doesn't topple when you're dragging it. For instance, if you put two heavy cleats in the cleat cage and dump all your gloves and balls in the central compartment, the bag will topple when dragged. Not ideal. And there are two sleeve bat holders, not three. But there is a specific bat area in the back of the bag, but it doesn't have any bat sleeves. So, if the sleeves give out by any means, and they do, you have to use the subpar bat area in the back. There's a part of me that wants to give the 360 RAG the title of best baseball catcher's bag. It's really stylish, and you can feel it when you're walking chest puffed into the dugout with your team. But I think Boomba Super Pack is an overall better deal than that Enel 360, if I'm being very honest. I still have to give props to the Danel team for trying to include all the premium features that you only see in bags over $250. So, I'd say if you can take some time to place your gear once you're done playing, to prevent toppling, the Danel 360 can give even the bone neck commander and Noe to a run for their money. That's why I had to give this bag a shout out here. Customizable, yes. Pros of Danel 360 are AG. Baseball slash softball wheel bag. High end features, hooks, wheels, etc. at a mid-range price point. Spacious compartments can fit a lot of gear. Different carrying option makes the bag really versatile. Stylish bag. Looks sick in the field, the gout, and trunk. Cons of Tonel 360 or AG. Baseball slash softball wheel bag. Bag may doppel if the gears aren't placed properly. The bat sleeves should be sturdier, and the rear bat area should have sleeves.